your ancestors never killed anything. Okay? They never killed a fly. They never killed a mosquito to please us or contact us in any form. That is one thing I want you to get very clear of. They never killed a cow. So when they're telling you that your ancestors used to kill human beings just to be able to appease the gods, it's a lie. Okay? I am vividly telling you today that it was a lie. They were being forced. Okay? They stood there right in front of their faces and forced them to change the system gradually in which you inherited from your great grands and your great grands inherited from your grands and your grands inherited from you. Also, no, it doesn't need to be... Uh, one single soul inside of your body okay that's why you have people in this world called uh, the bipolar people people that have multiple personalities which yes you can have uh, different kinds of souls three to four to five souls existing inside one body okay depending on your soul contracts you know and whenever one comes on then the others go off We are the biggest, we are the largest, we are the highest, we are the greatest. Yesterday was beautiful downloads, pure downloads. We discuss here with work seeker. You need to discuss in common and common. We will say if it's coming from the book, you will see the frequency and the vibrations and how the vibe no a flow. No, and me chain it to one who say you better was so and there because no one know what until he had to sleep over. For us to have this episode if you vote for life vote more so we bring him all the way from the north to you again and the idea this can say and run muti as he said they are also a better chance of ever be enter into the body now a year a process nimu our body nimu no and a woman but nimu no now who the entire new soul so they are shame what they shame up and tell my experience and how the old souls don't actually care about certain things and and when I discuss it, yeah, and today I discuss it, the life cycle of the soul, the life cycle of the soul. Just ask someone and they tell us we come. We catch them with few things. Ah, na me person on address it, and na me person me yes spiritual. And to me ko join you way, me ko yes say, and unto me didi, and unto me ni me ire jai, and some nu huanya in otna ni dem, and his soul and then his self. Allocated on or can same way into how do we approach this? We are going to talk about all these things. He said that your ancestors no moon kum nature no moon kum tum tum nom. So, where from the killing stuff we are going to get into? I said it's pure down loose. Into say, who attacking the there? One our problem because it's not in your normal books. So, what do you need to mean comprehend it? The air can't wa high in there. Nyabotre is either that in Ubedruho and also say Wundruho cry. And I welcome you people. To another great episode. So we are just here to what and run Komono IED and Sunti. Yen welcome in I ask you, my Emma Kaba. Welcome you. Okay, so they know you yesterday. I mean, but say hello still. It's okay. another episode. Hi, good day, everyone. This is Work Seeker here. And I'm sitting right here with the greatest mom of all time. You people should be very grateful that she is doing this. Okay, with her, no, we are able to reach out to the muscles and to educate you in order for you to get what it means for you to be aware, to be enlightened. Okay, so please uh, make sure that you share, make sure that uh, you comment if you want us to be live. Okay, the comments need to rise. Okay, so make sure you tag and then you comment a lot. Then that way we can come live and whatever that it is there. No, there is more. You haven't even started scratching the surface yet. Okay, so let's begin. Okay. So today we are this welcome once again. Thank you. Uh, today we are discussing the life cycle of the soul. Yes. And yesterday I asked you a few things that I want you to trash. Okay. So tell me, what process does the soul go through before coming out of okay. the womb? Okay. And when the soul comes out of the womb, at what stage, at what process? And that so you may reduce to this synthetic world that it wouldn't understand itself again. Okay. Okay, so may that's it, mommy. About the soul now, nah. the thing is, your soul is the purest form of light. Okay, I'm not just saying this, but when it comes to energy, your soul, no, there is nothing like your soul. Okay, the thing is that when you even began, before you even began to develop something called the red gene, okay, which has to do with the invasion of the Anunnaki that they told you about. Okay, that was what happened. It was sex. Sex is the one thing that caused the divine feminine to fall from grace. Okay. They were the highest and the purest form of 
creation ever existed. They did not need to have sex to create. Okay, they will just gather uh, earth. One will gather earth, and then another one will fill it up with the DNA. You used to do it when you were children. Okay, you just mold a statue of someone, and then you use your saliva, and then you'll be polishing it. Polish it. That's the DNA inclusion. So you will do it that way. Another person will use it to play. That is giving it life. Okay, so that is how it began. You used to uh, create like that until sex was introduced into the picture. Okay, so after the sex was introduced, the red gene was added into your being. So now you know what it means to cause destruction. Okay, now you know what it means to hate. Now you know what it means not to like, to envy, to be jealous of someone else. Okay, that was what caused you to fall from grace. So you descended from light. Okay, them tell you in the Bible about the fallen angel. No, you are the fallen angel. Okay? You are the fallen angel. You and them all fell from grace. The only difference between you and them is that you can rise again. They cannot. Hmm. Okay? They only have one spectrum of gene, which is the red one. Hmm. And for them to make sure that you too, you don't rise, you know, they have to create an illusion of self. Which is when you came into this world, you, know, you inherited and then see that this is your, your real self. You do understand? Uh -huh. Out of the possibilities of a thousand, you decided to lock yourself to one. That is what they do to you, okay? So when it comes to you descending from light, okay, into matter, okay? I'm going to explain with this. I came to matter and then I was outside and then uh, her, her barriers, you know, like, um, uh, what do you call it? The place that you usually go and stand and then, uh -huh. mm -hmm. there's this symbol there. There's this symbol. So this symbol goes way deeper than just being a symbol. So I'm going to be breaking it down, and then you are going to get an understanding of what the soul actually is. Okay? So when you look from the top, okay, it looks like a seed. When you Google what uh, a seed is, plant seed, any seed, okay, in its first day of development, it looks like this, which is nine. Okay, this is nine. All right? This is nine. When you begin to develop inside of your mother's womb, you begin as a nine. Okay, and when you go forward, then you become a six. You turn down like this. Do you understand? You have worn another clothes. The more food that you take from your mother's womb, the more denser you become. So it's not about gravity. When I tell you gravity is the one thing that is holding you to the ground, it's a lie. It's density. Okay, you condensed from light into matter. Do you understand? You condensed from light into matter you did not gravitate that's not how it works okay so what you need to do is that uh, the next step you know is that you go to a, a nine again okay you go up and then you come down you go up and then you come down okay and the final stage you know so it's like you begin at nine and then you descended to six and then you begin a nine again and then you descended to six the six is the final stage the final stage of the pregnancy is six because now your head Okay, it's facing down. You are at the cervix or the, 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 the waters of creation of your mother. So when that happens, you know, her water breaks. The water breaking simply means that uh, <laughs> the creation has completed its course. The nine has become a six. You being from pure light, you, know, you have condensed into matter. Hmm. Yes. And the creation of how uh, the soul uh, puts down its uh, energies, you know, it breaks down its energies into forms. You know. It started with you becoming a nine, okay? When you started as a nine, you begin depositing this, okay, your energy, you know, into something that I call the spinal cord, okay? It stretches from your crown to your root level. When that is happened, you know, that is where you bury the two celestial beings, okay? In the Bible, they call it um, Christ's tomb. He was, he was uh, that after he died, they buried him inside of a tomb. Mm. And he resurrected on the third day. Third here, I already explained, is the need for you to combine the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and then the solar plexus in order to ascend. That is the resurrection of the third day. Okay? So when you, uh, second, you begin to deposit another steps, that is uh, another chakra, piece of yourself. You break yourself into pieces, into pieces, into pieces, and then finally, the, the weight you know, will carry you down. The weight will carry you down, and then you turn around and then become a six. You are ready to come out of the uteruses of your mother. Okay? So that is where the waters of creation breaks. So in simply put, 
Nine represents what? And six represents what? Okay. Nine represents the blue gene. Your original gene. Which means? Which means that uh, before creation, you didn't have sex to create. You existed purely and you created with pure life force essence. Okay, so after the sex, you know, then the red one is encoded into your being, making them two, like this. So can we say that we humans here now, on Earth, this 3D world, we were created by this, this red gene people? Can we say that? Yeah, in a way. In a way, you existed. Okay, you had a body, but it wasn't... Uh, the but they dance. modify us. Yes. The yes. reason you they control yeah. us. Yes. And the reason we go the way more. Yes. So what is the battle now? The battle here is them trying to gain the other side of you, which is the nine. The one of the creative things that they will never understand. Okay? They don't have ideas. They cannot generate ideas, but they can alter the ideas that is being produced by the nine eater beings, which is the dark skin people. So whenever they are employing you, you will create something with a good intent. You create something to assist in the, 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 the rest of the collective you know, for them to wake up. Because whenever a nine eater does something, a dark skin does something, he does it from the heart. Let's do this to help this person. That is what happens. And they will say, oh, oh okay, okay, let's do it, let's do it. Because they are being, you know, it's, always, it's already lies. They don't see lies to be they are limited. any kind of a problem. Yeah. Okay? So they will say, oh, oh that's not a problem. We'll do it exactly like that. You just create it. Immediately you finish creating, they will all tie it. The first atomic bomb that was created was meant to regenerate uh, 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 grass from the desert. A shock wave was so strong that it was meant to dig to send frequency downward and then across the dead uh, 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 trees you know, to sprout up into new life. But they took it and then they twisted it into a weapon. Instead of creating, when it, it drops out, it annihilates. It begins to destroy yourself from an atomic level. That is why it's called an atomic bomb. It begins to destroy yourself from an atomic mm. level. You are watching the biggest. So right now, now we understand. The, it's the blue genes, it's the red genes mixing the blue genes. That is reducing us to six. Yes. Okay. Yes. So right now, that is when we are getting ready from the womb. So when we come out of the womb, what, are, what is their influences? Okay. Mm -hmm. The first thing they do is that they started influencing you before you even came out of the womb. Oh, yes. So because of your creation, yes. they brought you out of sex. Yes. Instead of you coming out yes, no. without sex. No. Yeah. So a lot of spiritual that, people feel that sex will reduce them. That's yes. their mindset. Uh -huh. So we understand that one now. So they ha they, that is their control before you come out. But yes. So when we, we come out, what happens? Mama, it goes way deeper than that. Mm hmm they don't just control you, they, they inject you. That is what they call a postnatal. Or is it antenatal? antenatal? They started immunizing you before you were even alive into this world. They started feeding your mother with sicknesses and disease. They, they, that, <laughs> there's something they created that is called nanotechnology. They didn't start it today. The nanoparticles are so small and so tiny that your naked eye cannot see it. But whenever it gets into your being, it covers up the original cells and prevents energy from passing through. So they started injecting that into your mother, and then they keep going, and then they keep giving her food that making her hungry all the time. So instead of you absorbing the life forces of the earth, that will be the best foundation of the baby, which is the fruit and then the vegetables. You will want uh, banku and then uh, fufu. Bread. Heavy fufu and bread. You will eat and then drink and say, yes, I'm not satisfied. Mm. Meanwhile, that what, what you have just consumed, there's no life force in it. So the baby will not be able to ground itself inside of your uterus in order to build its electromagnetic field. You know? mm. So when it finally manifests into this realm, there is nothing that can cause harm to it. I'm going to feed it with the, I'm pro, I'm programming I didn't put before it comes out. Yes, that is what they do. They will destroy it inside the belly, and now they have found a way to forward time. That is what they use uh, abortion is. Okay? Back in the day, people don't understand what abortion pill actually does. When you take an abortion pill, what it does is that when it enters into your being, it forwards time. That is why it will bring the baby out before, out before the time. time. They, will, they will forward time for the fetus to develop fast, 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 fast. And before you know it, it has turned to blood and pine is out. That is what abortion pill does. And whenever it does that, it attacks every single cell inside of your being. Of course. Yeah. It's gone against the cosmic. What yeah. do you expect? So it does that. Look, 
they started destroying you and when you come out into this world you know, then uh, your imaginative side was when you are a child you still had your god essence a little bit of it but when you begin to uh, associate yourself with society they call it the adolescent age yeah you begin to put things into your life you begin to attract negative things into your life you begin to look at yourself with quran i don't i don't deserve this this life is useless this life is meaningless let me go and worship them yes Let's just go to church and then we pray. Hmm. Pray that God will save you when you are actually praying to a being that never listens. A and being that, that wants you to remain here. Yes. So when that happens, Can it's like me? you are generally magnifying the problems of your life. Hmm. You are giving him the authority to magnify the problems. So you start consuming. And everything that you consume, there's an estrogen inside. There's nanoparticles inside. So I'm going to explain what um, this thing actually means. Uh, oxygen okay so this is oxygen oxygen was never created for you to breathe oxygen existed way before it's just a quote the O here represents the source when I was explaining everybody came from source and from source came the X the X is the same thing as eight this is the feminine chart when you do it like this it become masculine and when you do it like this it become feminine and when you combine them both like this then they represent time. You should use time and you turn it like this. Yeah, it represents time. So you are the beginning of time. After you have descended from nine to six, you know, that is when time begins to take effect. And that was when the loop started going in and then out like this. It never ends. You are always repeating yourself, dying, going back to reincarnate, come back again, dying, going to reincarnate. The Ouroboros. Yes. Hmm. The Ouroboros. You keep going and keep coming back. Whilst they win and turn this world into a world where they can live in. Okay? So from X, you know, you get to Y. Y on its own is two energies. Okay? When you put um, fullest Y, it's like this. This is what Y looks like. This is the neutrons of the feminine, which represents the feminine energy. When you divide it into two like this, it becomes the Ankh. Life. Yes. Hmm, you are watching the biggest. They, they don't have anywhere to go. You, you have somewhere to go. So they, we will make sure you don't go, actually. Yeah. That you is will what not doing. even know, not to think of going. Yeah. They don't want you to go screaming. anywhere. They don't want you to go anywhere. They want you to keep stalling, stalling, stalling. Because if you go, who will be here for, to worship them? Yeah. So be here. They are feeding off the life force of your negative energies. Without negative energy, they will not live. Exactly. They feed on our emotions. Yes. So they are telling you that you having sex and making an abortion, you have sinned against God. And you will spend your entire life trying to pray for God. Begging them. You will, be, you, you will be like, please, the sin I have committed, please God forgive me. I will never do it again. And still, you will still go and do it. It's like baptism. You need to be baptized. And then you think like, it's them putting you inside water and you coming out. You, you are still going to do the things that you've been doing all this while. When it comes to real baptism, baptism is about baptizing yourself with the waters within, which is the 80% of your entire being, your soul. Hmm. That is what baptism means. You going back to the beginning, when you first came out of the uterus. Empty mind, empty chakras, empty guilt, empty shame. We don't care. Yes. You releasing those energies and seeing your fellow human being, because it's eight. It's eight. When you do me something, I feel it. When I do you something, I feel it. So when you begin to connect with people on an emotional level, then that means that you know what it means to be God. Of course. Someone's pain becomes your pain. You will speak and then people will listen because your soul has awoken. When you see pain, you walk the other way. When you see pain, you do all you can to help that person overcome that fear. You understand? So that is it. The ang to... When you look at uh, the picture that I've posted here, I posted three and another three. I exp this uh, is actually an Adinkra symbol. It is for humanity and then strength. Okay, which represents four in the middle. And when you add another four, when you add another four here, then it becomes eight. When you look at the Ghana money, it's eight. The eight represents money. Money represents water. Water represents feminine. So it's an feminine energy. represents life. Yes. Eight, 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 eight simply means that energy goes and then comes back. It goes and then comes back. So whatever you are putting from within yourself to the outside, that is exactly what you get back. Yes. When you put out guilt, you will be getting back more guilt. When you put back peace, you have ways to calm yourself down in order to listen to yourself. 
That is what it means. So the 33 here, you know, I told you about your spinal cord. One side of your rib is 12, a representation of the apostles of Christ. One rib, this side is 12, another side is 12. 12 is 1 plus 2, which will give you 3. So you are 3 here, and you are 3 there, and you are 8 in the middle. For you to be able to attend to the heavens, you, know, you must combine 3, 3, and then your pineal gland, which is 3. You are back to 9. You become full and balanced. Yes. From 6 that you are, no, you have turned yourself up again to a 9. Now that is what is called Christ. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So when you look at uh, the, the diagram now, this one too also represents the same thing. They are the incredible symbol. They are just trying to tell you the worlds that exist inside of this world. There are three. Okay, just like the anchor. No? The first world is what you are living in right now, which is the, the symbol of the sun. Okay, and the, the second world that is separating the underworld from this world, you know, is uh, the meat god. Okay, that is where they tell you uh, about hollow earth. That's where they tell you about mythical creatures that still lives on. They are there. At first, they weren't separated. There was nothing like separation. Hmm. Okay, when they split your DNA, you know, that was when you forget. Of course. So you, that, they, they spend their entire life, okay, trying to make sure that they keep you looking the other way around when the things are happening the other way. 80% of you is being looked away. Yeah, you are concentrated because on because of the programming. Yes. Mm? You see, you need a strong will to open the program. And as long as they are able to embed fear in you, you will not overcome. No. And even when somebody is going, you, you want to go and kill the person. Yes. That's church. That's church for you. One song, Yamina, Obeko Bonsanje. Yamina, no wine. Yamina, no wah. Okay. Let me break this thing down even further. Which, uh, the word, you no know, God. Okay. G O D. Okay, G is the capital letter, uh, the number seven. G is number seven. And this is O. O is number six. So six plus seven will give you what? 13, right? Mm. Or is it 14? 13, 13. 13, okay, which will give you four? Four plus D. D is four. It becomes what? Eight. The symbol of the infinite, the same thing as you. You are God. And if you turn it upside down and make it dog, G-O-D, uh, D-O-G, then you are talking about the guardian that lives be, be, be under the underneath, you know, and then the top. Guiding the souls, when they die from here, it, it takes them here. That is why you bury, okay? When you die, they bury you, or they spoil your ashes inside the sea. Anubis is the one thing that, that drives the boat of the underworld. So when that happens, when you are saying dog, you are representing Anubis. That is why dogs don't like cats. Cats are nine. Okay? Mm, two different beings. Two different beings. Hmm. Cat, th this is three. Three plus one will give you four. Four plus two. Okay? We'll give you six. Six is nine. So, like, they are just like the opposites of each other. Cat has nine lives that they tell you, you know. This is just like yin and yang. Yeah. It's just like that. So, when you look at this symbol, you know, it represents the three worlds. This is your world. Okay, the world you are existing now is this. So you have no idea, okay, of what is existing outside of you. You understand only the walls of what you believe in. You don't, you don't get it. When, when you look at this symbol, it is the same symbol of your eye. Your eye, people, is divided into three ways. We have the deep one, we have the brown one, and we have the white one. Those all is a representation of you. When you come to your chakras, there is the same thing. You have the upper three, the mid one, and then the last three. And this same thing is also a dinkradin krahini, yes. the, the universe. Yes, greatness. This is the mm. first sound. This is the first sound that came out of creation. When you speak, you are uttering this. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. When you speak, you are uttering this. This is the, the beginning of everything. So you see, that is what it actually means. And when you come down here, you know, uh, ma, ma, ma des, uh, hey, barricade, you know, okay? If you people come, if you find your time and you are able to come, uh, everything here is information. Since I got here, I've been breaking. I've just been looking at things, and things have just been breaking. I told the, the guys that they should cover my eyes. Okay? It's becoming too much. So, uh, when you look down here, okay, that is your soul's residence. So, you came from nine, which is the top, okay, and then you descended. From nine, you came into this. And from this, you came into this world, which is the existential world that you are existing now. So, when you move from here, you come here. Same thing that I told you about the Adinkra symbol. Hmm. It's the same thing. And you find all the numbers there when you divide them. Yes. You find three, Perfect. you find nine, you find, you find all the numbers, all the numbers when you there. decode them. Yes. Yes. So from there, you will descend even further down. Okay, this is your root chakra. 
you are living at the base of yourself. And before the root chakra, the Christ tomb. That the toilet Christ is locked. You know? That is the duality of your soul, which is the representation of the mosquito coil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you same look at the same mosquito as the yin and yang. Yes. You find the yin and yang. Yes. So you need to combine both the red energy and then the blue energy. Combining the red and the blue means that you have to understand what the red is. You are watching the biggest and the largest. Truthfully, eh? if we can all calm down, take our time and learn these things, we are better. You just saw mosquito call. You feel so cold. Look at the box, all the colors on the box. And then we back here, middle, no yin and yang, the way Obi spirituality, no, I bring it into reality. Or you create a day. That's why I go high to powder. Now you come with giant, you come with me. You are attracted, you are attracted to it. And yeah, say, you come with it. It's because spiritually, I'm not a cosmic message. It will be attracted to you. Yeah. Oh, say, like, okay, if I do this, why is it that when you bail it and finish it, the mosquitoes they never go anywhere? No, my son. Yeah. Be the year business. So when, when you, we break, hmm. build a company in Ghana, we don't even know the color to paint. We because we be the FNA at the near their bomb set up studio, be be a native, so be so so all these people that are doing this, almost almost here. Hmm. So, Eddie, you say, I'm a boy, I am. I am a boy. I am easy. Eh. Eh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, never buy. Yeah, I swear. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so see, so, yeah, looking at blacks, Africa as people, tell me five strong things that is driving us. Ah, we don't have the ability, even the knowledge, to look into it. Say, mm, this is what is driving us to ditch. But we are protecting what is that thing that is killing us, to kill us the more. Five things okay. you see. Number one is uh, corruption, okay? It, it started way with your ancestors, okay? Some people wanted power, they wanted control. The thing is that, one thing people don't understand about the nine eaters, the dark skin is that, when they become evil, they become pure evil. They do things, you know, worse than the red gene. Like, they, they, they derive pleasure from having others to, to worship them. They use their strength in doing the opposite side. Yes. Instead of trying to help you awaken to your true self, you know, they will use that ability to even put you more to sleep. So that all the time we get, chairman, my five cities. Chairman, my say. When you definitely know that you can tell the person that you need to awaken. Hmm. Look at the platforms that you have. Churches, look at Mother's, Mother's program. Look at what they are doing. Imagine if they were going to be tagging every other hospital, uh, uh, pastors. Pastors are going to be tagging mother in every one of their shows. Why do you think that we would have been there right now? But they would rather criticize and insult her. An idea. For, for she trying to awaken you, to draw your eyes to the, the fact that you are blind. You both should be grateful. Hmm. Okay, so five things. Yes, mm -hmm. the second one mm -hmm. has to do with the fact that um, power drunkness. Hmm. Power drunk. The thing is that when it comes to the, the root chakra, no, it has such convincing power that uh, it draws everybody in. Because it is using the shield of the blue one. It is always in front of you. So you would think like, uh, it will come to your head and be like, why don't we just uh, go to my mother's pocket and steal this? And then the, 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 it will be like, yeah, why don't we do it? Let's do it. If we do it that way, you know the ice cream that you are looking for, no? you can buy it. So she will not even know. Let's do it and shake, shake the box. She will not know. Then you'll be like, yeah, that's a nice idea. Because it will give you a way out. Yes. Out of your current misery, you know, it will make you feel comfortable. Mm. And later on, you will regret it. Yes. So you are the, the very person that is dragging yourself down. Mm. And I when these people it. have the power, when they finally learn that, okay, there's something called the soul. Some of them actually begin their ministries without actually realizing what it is. They don't know. Okay, some know and others don't know. Others are just keeping others asleep. Those are the big, big ones, you know. Hmm. Yeah, those ones with big, big churches, big, big infrastructures, like billion people that when they, are, when they call for all night and you see that there's Control no even space them. for anyone to go anywhere. And then they'll cast a spell on everybody, even put you much deeper into sleep. You think prayer will save you? You think praying will save you? Prayer is something you do outside of yourself. Okay. It's, it, it will come to this synthetic place. And nothing here can save anybody. There is nothing. 
Hmm. There is absolutely nothing unless you begin to get the realization that you are not the body. Hmm. You are not the body, you are not your thoughts. That is where you can let go of this power. Sometimes I don't even under understand why 20% energy is riding on a 80% energy like that. Hmm. I, sometimes that is what eats me up all the time. Say, ah, a ban is saying, and a body where I ain't me just so no what da. A right, this so no left, right, center. Yeah. Meanwhile, if the soul decide not to dwell in the body, me die or see on bemu biuma, it ends there. So I ask, why do we put all energy, all time, all effort, all investment in this thing? Yeah. That will just end here. Yeah. While the real deal is sitting inside. Yeah. Because the thing is that when it comes to your solar, it is said that they be. Eh? When we go to funerals, we don't learn. We, like, why? What, what, is, what, is, what is bringing about that? Yeah, it's, it has to do with your soul being a daddy bee. Your soul knows everything. It has everything. Hmm. So it doesn't even bother with the physical it things of this. It doesn't care. It doesn't, so like, it is always sleeping. I have nothing better to do. If you will not seek me out, keep going. So like, he has surrendered all the gears, you know, to the red one. Fa, answer. You are not there to look like the red gene. Red gene, are there among the and say, when it comes to the red gene, the amount of power that it has, it, it doesn't reach the blue gene. But when it supports the blue gene, you become invincible. Okay? The, 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 the one that they tell you that Angel Michael, okay, is uh, the guardian of what and what. The name I can tell you, his real name I will not mention. His name is Micah. L is just you. Mike L. Your guardian. That is what it means. So when you even begin to uh, uh, try to shut off the red gene, that is when your soul will be like, Michael will be like, co -co -co, wake up, the girl is trying to get to you. Mm -hmm. And then she'll be like, soul will be like, no, she's just playing around. And Michael will be like, no, wake up, she's serious this time. And when you begin to even ask questions, then Michael begins to awaken fully. And your spinal cord becomes the weapon. Mm. That weapon, when he holds it, there is no amount of power in this universe that can overtake you. People usually get fear when you are beginning your awakening. Don't be afraid of anything. There is nothing outside of you. It's because of how this whole thing is presented. And some people even believe that when you, you meditate, when you meditate, you will see demons, you go mad. You hear these things. That's why I was asking you, when, from what, where you, what you went through and how you discovered yourself, when you look at social media and all these spiritual things you see, how, how do you feel? Usually, I just feel ashamed most of the time. I look at my siblings and I go like, are you too serious? Are you here to awaken people? Or are you here to extract from people? <sighs> God, look, the great mothers gave you wisdom in order for you to know about herbs. So that you use that herbs you know, to help the oppressed. And you would rather sell that herbs at the 10,000, 100,000 cities when the one that really needs the help you know, cannot afford that amount of money. So like, the mothers has a way of testing you. They always begin with your earth element, giving you all this nimdia, jena jena say om mana fawa, then you can't get to the water mm -hmm. power. It is arranged in your chakras. But the nimdia ni krampo bana wun ya wadri so be mana fawa, they will send people that will make sure say a fawa. Ah. When they start giving you money, your opportunity why you're saturated all over. Yes. Then the person, somebody that was coming so nice, we know knowledge when we see one. We, within one year, six months. Hey, is this not the person I saw? They change. They change they totally, change completely. completely. Yeah. And me, you know, me, you know, let me just look at the camera and tell you. If I just start charging you for money, okay, I'm just going to go back to my village and sleep. If I hear any one of my members or my crew is charging somebody for money without the person actually being like, okay, you take this and you can take care of yourself. If anyone does that, Okay, I will leave whatever it is that I'm doing and I'll go back and sleep and all of you will go. <whistles> it's as simple as that. Hmm. So right now, um, like I'm asking for five things that is actually putting us to sleep. You have mentioned three. Yes. So left to the two. fourth one is with the chemical, the chemicalization of your being. Okay. One thing people don't understand about estrogen is that <laughs> it doesn't just exist inside a uh, the cosmetics that you use, no. It goes way deeper than that, hmm. okay? It exists inside of your waters, it exists inside of every food that you consume. 
That is why they are trying to alter this fruit. So the thing about uh, people don't understand about fruit is that fruit cannot be altered. Hmm. You as the nine eater melanin bean, you still have the original codings, okay, of that particular fruit inside of your genes. So all you need to do is vibrate high, and then touch that fruit and see what will happen. Eh, vibration is a problem. Eh. Eh, because you know me and you know that no matter how your frequency, fear will quench it. Pim. Is that not where we are living? Fear of survival. Who call you a juma? Who rent a son? Who need car? Who need this? That is what we are focused on. So what kind of frequency are we going to touch? We are touching fruit to create better than Adam and Eve the end. So no kura kura nse. Yeah. The thing you need to do is mm. uh, get an understanding. Say, baby, you hold man. We should share a word about it. There is nothing like that. This is what the noise. There is nothing outside of yourself that you need when you begin to seek the eighty percent of you. On one case, I bet you ten tenama. Hey, do you? On one case, for for you to just be comfortable so that you can keep listening to it, no. Obey be a kanyama. Oya nsu. Everything inside of this world, no, came from water. Okay, you manifested out of the waters of creation. So what is bigger than water? Water has no shape. Water has no form. If you pour it into a cup, it grows up to become the cup. So what do you think that it is there that is more powerful than water? Nothing. Maybe that's the reason why they are cutting goats and they are chicken for the water. Water doesn't need your goat. Water doesn't need your chicken. Okay? Water doesn't need your goat. Water doesn't need your chicken. Water just needs you to be honest. Speak to the water and then you... <laughs> water has memory. Water can look. Water sees you. When you look at water, it looks at you back. The only thing you can see yourself in, the only thing you can see yourself, it will remind you of who uh, you are. So it's like, been here, you pass through it to get through to here. Yeah. Now we are putting blood in water. Meanwhile, even the fishes living in water don't have much blood. Contradictions. When I begin to talk about the fish matter, we will not finish it on this show. The fish matter that... They say Jesus has been talking about inside the Bible. If I even begin to break this fish down into what fish actually represents, fish and your nervous system is one and then the same. So Jonah being swallowed by fish, okay, fishing from the right side. Jonah fish swallowing take three days. Three days is just like the way I told you about your chakras. We've we've done this. We've treated decoding the thirty-three. You see, that is what it takes. Knowledge you have to surrender to the current of the ocean. <sighs> Don't fight it. How do you I did to, did to take okay. you away? Don't fight you it. You just float in it. Let it take you where it is going. Oh. And then you can actually use its current to benefit yourself. Mm. It's as simple as that. That's why some of you, when you begin to awaken, you begin to get headaches. What are five things you think Africans should do? African. We should do. Okay. First thing is, step back from everything. From your, your, your regret. Step back from your fear. Step back from life. Okay? And ask yourself, who am I? The frequency is so intense right now that when you even begin asking yourself the questions, your soul will reach out to you. Your ancestors, the underworld, the midworld, all the spirits are in this realm right now. Because if you fail, you all die. They are looking up to us. Yes. You are God. That's why it's us, God. You were created in the image of God. So if you don't save them, that ends it. So they will offer their, 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 their services for you for free. They will guide you if you just reach out to them. So that is one. Yes. And the next thing you need to do is not let money. Don't let money. They tell you that money is something that you need to chase. Okay? You don't chase money. Hmm. You don't chase money. When you break money down, money is ones and zero. You don't chase money. You manifest. You, you, you attract it. The thing is, look, I've lived a very rough life. Okay, a very rough life that if I begin to tell you, you will mellow. And right now, I don't have any work, but I eat exactly what I want. Hmm. Yes, I receive exactly what I want, and then I go anywhere that I want when I sleep. I'm not caged to this body anymore. I'm not caged. There is an interdimensional <laughs> reality that I exist in when I close my eyes. You cannot be static in one. I, I will not be stuck in one. You, you cannot make me stuck. Immediately I see that the illusion, no, blindfold not of them. Then I say, so me chasing only one. Why not? Why not start chasing or why not start manifesting the 999 of the other ones? Mm. Why are you static? I was telling them um, last Sunday that uh, on time with my migrants. When you were in your mother's womb, 
you understood only the walls of your mother's womb, and yes. you were born here. When you were born, you didn't know whether you were, you didn't care whether you were naked or you were in, you were in another world. Yes. So they groom you when you were 18. Now you are, you were buying your own thing. So I don't see why you should be static. 18 is nine. I don't know why you That's should why, be static. Well, you get to the age of 18 and they say you are a grown up. Because well, you completed adult. the cycle without you actually realizing who you are. <sighs> the things we can do. Now I'm looking for solu solutions. Yes. The things you can do is I want us to reach out to every other person. That speaks spirituality to people. To okay? tell them what? The thing that I want to tell them is that, listen to this, okay? You are not here to make money. Hmm. Okay? You are not here to make money of the pains of people. If you are actually helping them with the right mind, then why is the thought inside of your head be like, hey, Charlie, you're just be brand new. Why is that thought there? So, like, say, kaboom, mami waha. Like, all of you, you just come together. And then just organize something to talk. Just sitting like this for us all. And yet, fact, say like all of us, we just came to this show and we sit down. And we are saying, "Hmm, I this ah, The reason I open this platform that all spiritual people, no matter what you believe, you just come. Then we create a place like Gaia that we will talk about us. When mm. they come, they become, they make themselves rich, and then me, Mum, rather will become their enemy. Where will we go? Can we ever put ourselves together? We will talk to the people. We are still talking. Yes. And they will listen. Okay? Because when we talk, we are not just talking to you. We are talking to the soul. The soul will, yeah, exactly. it will hold your neck. Exactly. Okay? If you don't start to change, I am telling your soul, your soul knows me. I'm telling you that if you don't start your journey, if you don't start seeking out how to heal your fear, how to overcome your regret, how to heal your shame, your soul, no, you will meet it tonight. It's as simple as that. I wanted them to be able to group these things. Like, you are here. You'll be able to, like, if they all come together, you can actually organize something, okay? That people that have fear, they should be in this group. People that have regret, here. Traumas, traumas, yes. traumas. And there are masters that can teach them how to overcome this. And now, even those, these white people that are channeling Ra, they have movement. Movement that all of them will go and sit down and somebody will be channeling away. Here you can put people together, pam, as a messy. I sometimes don't know what to do, but we would get there. So that is three. What else do we do? I want solutions. Yes, you need to dance. You need to sing. You need to connect with trees. Okay? Trees, all of you in this world, you are like um, a pieces, okay, of mother's being. Okay? You are like one single flower, another person is another single flower. You are like a virus, another person is like the cure. You are like this and you are like that. It's different, different like that. All of us exist in, in her waters of creation. So like when you forget yourself, go to tree. Tree is still connected to, to her. Hug the tree. Speak to the tree nicely. Communicate with the tree from your heart. Everything that is disturbing you, speak to the tree about it. And go and sleep and see what happens. If it doesn't come that day, repeat it. I'm giving you three days. You begin to have certain dreams that you will not be able to interpret it. That is, that is how you do it. And when it comes to dancing, remove your slippers. That is why you have a doa. That is why you have the, the, the drums. And dance. Dance and be happy. Remove your slippers. Let it hit the earth. Let her understand that you people are still here. Okay? If she doesn't get that you people are still here, mm -hmm. we don't even care. We don't want, we, now we are the, from our eating, everything. We are detached. So what's the point? We should rather go and hit it. We don't know it. You have to go back. We can't save ourselves. We can't help them. Yeah. The thing is that we cannot do anything right now. Do you understand? On my last incarnation, on my shate, they've shut down like my energy centers. Okay? They told you about it inside the Bible. I'm not going to say where uh, because that is going to tell you exactly who I am. They've shut down my energy centers. And the only way that you people can do this this time, you know, it's your well wishes. You are you seeking out. You know? That is why the sun keeps getting hot and hotter and hotter by the minute. When the fa sun finally hits, it is going to activate all 3.7 trillion cells inside of your being. You will know what it means to be a god for the first time. Mm. So don't stop saying like, the sun is this, the sun is that. The sun is trying to usher you to a new world. We don't want to know. We don't care. We don't care. We don't have that time. We want money, we want cars, we want... Houses. They will not be able to help you again. Like, 
you people that are ascended, no? you, you, we can only give you the information. We cannot help, like, if you know how many times, okay, most of these people have died and came back because of you. How you have turned on them and then killed them over lifetimes. You will bow your head down, you will not be able to look at them in the face. They did all that for you. And right now they can no longer do it. Okay? You see that everybody awakens so that mother will knows that no, it's not it's not um, stomach ache. It's a uh, it's just like somebody is dancing. Okay, my baby is dancing inside my tummy. They to listen to what the baby wants. Anyways, right now I want you to advise the 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 public. In fact, from those who are pouring a lot of blood on the land, those who are pouring blood on trees, those who are pour, pouring blood on, in waters, because we don't want to understand the, sim the simple fact that there is a reason why a tree is there and there is no blood in it. We don't want to understand the simple fact that the land is there and there is no blood in it. But there is energy behind the idea at him. We human beings have blood, animals have trees. Yeah. The confusion and pollution we are creating. You for are ourselves. the only dense being. So please, your advice to the public, and then you come to the young ones who want to journey into this spirituality. A lot of, a lot is happening. People are going mad. We so travel. They are mad. It is me that go through all the problems. Because when it jeans uh, my office. So I'm going through a whole lot. So I want your advice to start from those pouring what, uh, blood at where there is not supposed to be blood. And then those who are also um, looking for spirituality, they running helter skelter. And then if there is any um, small beginnings you can give to people who want to find themselves, then you go ahead with it. Look into the okay. camera and give it so to them. So what I can tell you is that when it comes to um, you running around looking for spiritual help or not, you don't need to run to anywhere. Okay? That is why the sun is there. That is why you have trees. That is why your feet, you know, when you stamp it onto the earth, you know, it begins to get heavy. Okay? That is energy at work. All you need to do is stay away from their brushes, their toothpaste, tooth, uh, you know. Stay away from that toothpaste. Okay? I eat trees. I brush my teeth with trees. I can't remember the last time I put a toothpaste inside my mouth. Yeah, you do, you put it there and then the, the fluoride will enter your, uh, your huh? pineal gland and you are sleeping. That is what they do. Mm. They will put in code these estrogens inside of your being. It's not just about, no, I'm not doing anything and yet I can't, I can't awake it. No, it's the smaller things that you don't take into book. That is how they, they are manipulating you. Mm. So give up the food. Go on a seven days fast. I'm telling you today. Just go on a seven days fast. Avoid all these things and then begin to blend watermelon. Okay? Just blend watermelon and then ginger. If you have beetroot, add beetroot because beetroot has this symbol on it. Do you understand? Blend it and add it to it. Make your intentions very clear. I intend reaching out to my soul. So please answer me. Drink this. Okay? <laughs> Drink this. And on midday, you can just sip a little bit of water. In the evening, get like, uh, popo is one thing that they can poison. It's, it's so abundant. Okay? So get the popo, small popo, cut it in half, and then you eat half, then you store the other half. If you eat plenty, your solar plexus, which is your stomach, you know, will not be able to send the information to your soul. You repeat this. On the second day, you walk barefoot. Okay? Remove your slippers. Walk barefooted to any tree. If there are many, there's that one tree that will call out to you. Come, come, come to me. Go to that tree. Go and make a body contact with the tree. The tree is your personal therapist. It will not charge you a dime. But if you are able to connect with the tree, it will absorb you of the fear, of the regret, of the shame, of anything that is stopping you from actually accessing yourself. Do you understand? You repeat this every day for the next seven days, and you will never go back again. Hmm, this will heal you from trauma, addictions, everything. So I think I told you people the other day, respect your gut. Like I did with you. Respect your body. Because anything you respect stays with you forever. Because I'm a baby. When I also why I addicted to them, you try this and see. Yeah. It's very simple. Because uh, when did these seven days, and I want to know weed, and I want to know cocaine, and I want to know the other people. Seven days, you know, what could you What could Simple. Asa. Starve the body. And then feed the soul. Okay. Papa, um, those who are one, also pouring, pouring the blood. blood no? Okay. 
please, you don't need to pour blood on anything. Okay? The tree doesn't need your blood. The one that is lying to you that is in that tree, no, is the lower entity that is making you do this. Mm. It is just amplifying that part of you that is empty. Okay? That you think that you need to pour... Eh, your ancestors never poured blood. That is why you pour libation with water. You pour libation with wine. You don't pour libation with blood. When you include blood, blood, you are sacrificing the five senses of your being. Okay? You are jailing yourself even further like, oh, oh, of a home as a sacrificial lamp. And yet, energy, and yet about goat blood or sheep blood, you, know, you are the one that is holding it. You are the one that is imbued with energy. So whatever that is going to be affecting your, uh, that, that, that blood, you know, okay, it is going to be affecting your entire being. Okay? It is just going to go in there and then amplify your fear, amplify your guilt. Okay? If, you are, if you are requesting for something, if you need something, listen to this. If you want something to manifest in your life, and I'm not just telling you this so that you think that, oh, okay, if I go and do it, it will work. You need intent and then you need heart. It takes both. Okay? It's not like something that you are desperate of. What I need to do, the moon is out. Most of you, you can attest that you are seeing weird things happening to the moon. Okay? The moon is coming back to its original state. And when that happens, you know, our divine feminine will no longer uh, measure it. Messes will end. Some of them are already telling me that they, they don't have their periods. Yeah, and they still not learning. Which language do you mean? Okay? So that's what you need to do. Mm. You need to get, um, try getting a calabash. Okay? And then you fast. Fast for like three days. You know? That should hyper your spirit enough for you to be able to connect with your soul on the moon day. Because when the moon begins to awaken, which is the new moon, it is like you sleeping and waking up during the day. You are like this way. So that's what the moon does. It, it, it is awakening its eye like this. So before it will fully awaken, which is the full moon, uh, you have already made your offering. So now it can see what you have offered. Exactly. Okay? Make sure it grows. Yes. It will see what you have offered, and then it will take it in good faith, because it doesn't need money from you. It only needs your emotion. It is the one thing that you used to charge your, uh, your chakras. That is why women, they measure it every 28 days. They release that energy. That is why you men, during the full moon, you become crazy. Okay? You can't sleep. There's a whole lot of things that are happening inside of your being during the new moon. Because it, full moon, because if you don't heal those energy centers, you know, it is amplifying the energy, which is actually causing you harm than good. Hmm. But if your energy is cleansed, okay, during the full moon, you can awaken your kundalini energy. Simple. Very simple. Papa, please, uh, your, your social media handles. Okay. Um... Uh, TikTok right now, okay? I will create a YouTube channel and then I'll create a, a Facebook channel too. Mention that you have a name already for that. Yes. So you just mention, so they will always search you. Okay. When it's open, they follow. So they can okay. ask Woke, Woke Seeker. Okay, that's the name. Woke Seeker. And that is it. Just follow me there. Then you comment anything that you don't understand. Because the thing is that me being paralyzed, you know, it has given me enough time, okay, to actually reach out to you people. Because whatever that is happening, is either all of us or all of us may. Mm, your energies has, have taken you out of the, the stress in this synthetic world. So you are focused. Uh, it's difficult though, but if you understand, you understand. You won't even worry yourself. Thank you so much for coming. Ebusia, how long will you run to a tree? How long will you run to a river? And how long, where will you run to? Mm, Ebusia, if you run to anything, if you allow them to give you any food, to eat, it will, uh, you will allow them to give you any medication to drink and you will allow them to use your body for whatever experiment and you will allow them to recycle you. People, please let's think deep. There is more to do, there is more to say. Let's support each other. Because if I'm not there, you are not there. As he said, we are all pim if one goes off if one is able to switch on light, it can lead all of us. You, we should come down and think about these things because there is more than we can see. Uh, we should not allow anybody to manipulate us in the name of, manipulate us in the name of spirituality. Tree doesn't have blood. Why are you pouring blood in it? You are going against the cosmic ominia. My what are you turning it into? Abusia? 
that is work seeker the platform no moon follow na mo 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 the questions mo make sure say we grow those who can support you support him in fact we will all get there there is knowledge with him so mo support it na mo follow the platform so so mo be the questions i will try my best and bring him to life because it's not easy for him coming all the way from that place but he came out of love and uh, until no please mo support no na mo knowledge no so in free no na mo encourage no na ma mo fa mo sika sem no en ko no so pa ocho never allow yourself to be saturated me mo be and you condemn nya me na metu fo but and also can ho eh yeah since yeah. i'm a woman mm, thank you so much for coming eh thank i do appreciate you Ebusia, thank you so much for learning mm, we keep learning we will get there shalom <laughs>